Okay, just uh, wanting to keep it up. Um, I think this is four days in a row. And I'm just moving around the room. This is the welcome studio when you get to the Crestline Creatrix Matrix. And um, these are the from the 33 Trees Project. I'm using the preprints photo tiles um, to see what the magic markings look like when they're printed. And I just wanted to remind you, like this is um, originally conceived as a project that can, that was magic markered and it just carried on from working with Judy Shintani and the group of us that makes mandalas at the beginning of the year. And just that magic marking kept going. My December um, mandala was a tree. And then it turned into just um, counting the trees in my backyard and wanting to honor them. And so much of the COVID story is about breathing. And so much about breathing on the earth is about trees. So I wanted just to remind you that you can also participate in the 33 Trees Project. It isn't just about uh, me loving my trees. It's also designed um, for you to uh, get to love yours and tell me stories about how you love uh, the trees in your neighborhood. And who knows, like if there's enough juice, um, people caring about the trees, sending me pictures or stories, uh, which you can do on uh, Facebook in the, through the Facebook group, the 33 trees project or on Instagram at, at 33 trees project. Um, there's, there's an open call and um, you know, it, again, all of my stuff is really for artists of all ages. It's really about inviting people to, into their own creativity and and then what that creativity can do to build community among us all and it's not about what we do for a living and it's not about whatever else um sometimes things get to be about it's really just about love and passion and excitement and joy and creativity and and what's possible when we love something and uh decorate it and gather around that decor <laughs> to say hey that's beautiful um so uh, you're invited to make a love letter or a drawing or an elf or a hobbit dwelling, a fairy space, or any other photographable art installation for a tree that you care for. Um, and then make sure that your uh, love letter or art installation is made from biodegradable, recycled, upcycled, art cycled materials that are diverted from landfill and install that love letter art in or around the body of the tree that you're honoring in our community. And then take a picture uh, of the installation, send it uh, for consideration. Um, you can send it, uh, uh, you can learn more on Crestline Creatrix Matrix at gmail.com that's the website is is of course www but you can email me at crestline creatrix at gmail.com um, title your email with your contributions as 33 trees submissions are accepted on a rolling basis and once we've got 33 artists that have been selected for exhibition we'll make a catalog and we'll start having parties about it virtually and otherwise but um you're invited to be your part of uh celebrating the trees in your neighborhood and i know as we head into holiday season that's an easy thing uh, to do uh it isn't intentionalized around holiday trees but it is um intentionalized around making some beauty and honoring that axis mundi that gives us that living connection between the rooting and growing and branching and uh, budding and leafing and falling that story of life that a tree can give to us so I hope you'll play. Uh, you're invited. And uh, again, the website, crestlinecreatrixmatrix.com. The email to send submissions to just crestlinecreatrix at gmail.com. Thanks so much. I look forward to hearing about a tree you love.